I guess I don't know what I know no more. He's turned down there. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. Here and now, Colm O'Driscoll's going to get his due. Let's go. Quiet. What's it look like? Bunch of cops. Well, how many? Enough. So what do you think? Paul's up on the roof. Once he starts shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. Yeah. I guess we faced worse than this before. Sure. Let's get to it. Yeah. So... They got a guy up on the roof, overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there, onto one of these verandas, through a building maybe, and get him. And do it silently. Well, obviously I'm gonna do it silently. I wanna see this bastard swing. Oh, Arthur, here's a ladder. Find a way up to the roof and stop it. I'll go back to Mrs. Adler. Where's this shooter then? this then? A gun case. The only way to deal with him justly is by savagery. Colm O'Driscoll is one such man. He has murdered, tortured, robbed, stolen, raped, and abused for a decade across five states seemingly with impunity. Today, justice catches up with him. <laughs> As well you may. I've been a bad man. Silence! These charges This are... is not a court where you shall be tried. This is a place where your sentence is to be carried out. And your sentence, Colmo Driscoll, is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. This is not a task we take lightly. It is not a task we enjoy, but it is a task we must carry out if our civilization is to prosper. Gentlemen, are we ready? 
Call Modrisco. May God, in his infinite wisdom, have mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. <laughs> now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You ruined my life! How you get on, Arthur? Well, and we saw the bastard hang okay, but no thing ain't gonna save us. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. I guess compared to the entire government, in the end, Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? She ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? My dear Arthur, you never showed up. And now, after looking at the newspapers, I understand why. I don't imagine you'll receive this letter, but I nonetheless must send it. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams. I miss you, and I will always miss you. But I cannot live like that. And it seems you cannot live any other way. When I'm with you, the world makes sense. But when we are apart, I see clearly that your world is not a world from which one can escape. I'm so sorry. For everything. For everything long ago, and for starting up that business again. There's a good man within you, Arthur. But he is wrestling with a giant. And the giant wins time and again. You've broken my heart again. And I fear I have broken yours. And for that... I will never forgive myself, but you must let me go now. 
I enclose a ring you gave me many years ago when we were both young. Not because I don't like it, but because I care for it far too much and it reminds me too much of you. I hope one day you will find some people in love who can use this. For it kept me thinking of you all these years. And I hope by returning it to you, I can finally be free. Goodbye, Mary. Stew without good meat is no stew at all, Mr. Morgan. Sorry, got nothing for you right now. Oh, hi, Arthur. If the Pinkertons don't kill us, your food will. Don't take it out on me! Everyone around here could do with a good meal. Why do you get like this? But all you give us is pig wheel. Look, I'm too busy for this. You're too desperate to leave, ain't you? You think this is helping matters around here? Bad time. Big man. Worried. Really worried. <sighs> Me too, Uncle. What's going to happen, you know? To everybody. <sighs> I guess folks is going to make a choice. Whether they live or die. And you? I don't have that choice no more. I'm just trying to help others see clearly. That's my choice. You're a good man, Arthur Morgan. Good man. Hi, Mary Beth. How are you holding up? What's the plan here? Is Dutch gonna be all right? We'll work something out, I promise. All right, then. <laughs> yes, Arthur. What's wrong with you, Arthur? How you mean? <laughs> causing all this trouble just when we need to be united. I ain't causing no trouble. <coughs> I just ain't standing for any more lies. Ain't loyalty mean nothing to you? I ain't dying for whatever nonsense Micah and Dutch have concocted. And, well... I don't matter much anymore, but I ain't letting the women here die for that, neither. Gonna get you. Two orphans, playing at happy families. What a touching scene. Go to hell. You know, Jack, Dutch, 
thought your pa was gold once too, till he realized he was just yellow. Leave my son the hell alone. You got something to say? Say it to me, you son of a bitch! Oh look, the rest of the old guard. Cherish every last moment with your son, John. Play with the skulls, Jack. Hi, Arthur. Hi. Okay, Abigail. No place like home, huh? What are we gonna do about all this, Arthur? Just hang in there. We'll work something out. I suppose so. My mistake, Abigail. You okay? Peach. You sure? No, I ain't sure. You still working? Is anybody still working? The whole goddamn place full of people bickering, fighting, and lying. It makes me real sad. I know. I need someone to ride with me. Do what? Finish off them of Driscoll's. I hear the last of them is holed up at Hanging Dog Ranch. I don't have it in me no more. I saw Colm swing. I, I just don't care. I was a married woman. You know what they did to me and to my husband. Like you're the only one of these fools that I trust. I've got to do this. I'll tell you what. I'll do it. But there's something you could help me with. Sure. You, me, and John. This whole thing is pretty much done, but Dutch still has our money hidden away, so... Well, how do you mean? When the time comes, just be uh, ready. What do you mean? I mean, if we can get out of here with money, you and me, we ain't... We're more ghosts than people. And none of that loyalty matters. Jesus. Okay. I'm with you. Well, then you got yourself a gun. What's left of one? Thank you, Arthur. You want to ride with me now, or meet me up at Hanging Dog Ranch when you can? <whistles> Thanks, Arthur. Okay. Come on. Hey. Hey. What's going on? I think there's a bunch of them in there, mostly drunk. One of them is a fat fellow with a beard. Him? He's mine. Sure. How are we doing this? We're just going in. <clears throat> okay, then. 
It's a big ranch, run down, lots of folk there, but spread pretty thin. I'll set it off and then we'll... we'll take it from there. Take it from there? Okay. So, no real plan then. Oh, I got a plan. Now, come on. Is that a woman? Jesus! Who the hell is that lady?
You okay? Yeah. He was a good man, my Jakey. We was always sweet on one another. I'm sure. Yeah. I miss him every day, every moment. Oh, they turned me into a monster, Arthur. But my memories of him, they still pure. I ain't even got that. You know, you're a confusing man, but you might just be the best friend I got, Arthur. I know the company you keep. The competition ain't too fierce. <laughs> we, uh... We should get away from her. Yeah. I think I need to be alone for a bit. I understand. You, uh, might want to get yourself cleaned up. Thank you, Arthur. Come on off, you only delayed it. Uh -huh. 